What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Web Premium, back with another episode of the Market Overview, guys. Today, uh, today market broke out all-time highs and then really just kind of did nothing, really. Uh, I mean, that's all we did. We had a, uh, I mean, technically, you'd call it a 30-point or a 20-point range, but for the majority of the day, I mean, it really just spent all of its time up here. It had that little bit of a flash sell. Uh, so for tomorrow, going into tomorrow, <clears throat> we're going to want to watch 5300, 5280, 5253. Same three levels as today, but maybe we get some more action off it. Maybe we get a little bit of a deeper pullback underneath this 5300 than maybe a slingshot up higher. Uh, nonetheless, the markets are trending up, so we're going to be looking to play the bounces here. Really quickly, let's just check what's going on with the economic data tomorrow. It looks like nothing. Uh, Fed Chair Powell comes on. Takes part in listens events. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is. But since he is, he's got his name on the docket. That's what everyone's gonna be paying attention to. But that comes out, you know, before the market opens. So I obviously want to remain um, cognizant of that when we wake up tomorrow. And we could always double check this with the U.S. Economic Calendar off investing.com. Just to double check, we'll click tomorrow here. Come on down. I just want to make sure we don't have any like you know University of Michigan data <clears throat> thirty minutes after the market opens or anything like that. It looks like nothing. Looks like a big old nothing burger. Okay. So ES chart just went over at 5,300, 5,280, 5,250. The two levels we'll be watching, or excuse me, the three levels we'll be watching. NQ, pretty straightforward here. Uh, 18,500. 18,500. I want to see if we can get the pullback, the bounce, and the rip, right? Basically, the breakout all time highs, back test it, and go, right? 18,500. You could you could queue in eighteen thousand four fifty. So this fifty point gap in here, obviously, just be a trader. Wait for uh, the reversal signs if we do dip down into this area. Basically, you just want to see if this thing is going to bid down there uh, or not. Onto the spy chart here, right down to the five twenty two level. I think we can go a smidge lower. So five twenty two, five twenty five eighteen. Those would be the three levels, kind of like ES. Those three areas you want to watch. A high, higher probability, I do think it's going to be, if we hold 522, that's great, but I like 520. Let's see if we come down to 520 and hold, get the bounce there on. Spide guy, QQQ. Uh, let's come up here to QQQs. As we can see, got underneath that 446.50 level. So now we're going to have to wait to see. Um, <clears throat> basically, the high of the candle on the previous day, the FOMC, uh, this would close the gap technically here on QQQ right into this area in here. 444. 444 is going to be the level we're going to want to watch. So 446. We open up above 446.50. Great. Look for the uh, retrace to highs. If not, 444 would be the level we want to watch going from there. Basically, Friday's, uh, excuse me, the Wednesday's high on Big Daddy P. IWM had a huge day. Huge day, IWM. 206 held. We actually didn't even get down that much. Got 206.50. Uh, right into 209. Now it's really easy. I think 209's got to break. Once 209 breaks, it's off to the races. 210, 50, 212 to uh, the upside. But we did get that little bit of a pullback in here, what we were looking for. Uh, right into 206. So that is great as long as that holds. Um, also, another reason why I'm a little bit bullish on the markets here is because if they're, you know, if there's getting a rotation here to small caps or the Russell 2000, um, you know, it's more than likely, it's hard for the, the overall and broader markets to fail really, uh, in my opinion, you know, if they're buying up quote unquote, small cap companies, companies that aren't as quote unquote stable as the mag seven or whatever you want to call it, um, tells me investors are speculatory. So they're not really thinking that we're going to be going down. Right. So 209 tomorrow, let's watch 209 break and hold two ten fifty two twelve from there. Really loving this I W. And going to tomorrow. Guys, that's all I got for you. You got to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course, not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you right early. Peace.